My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of setting up a new Adobe Connect account. If you've recently purchased an account online, then you should have already received an email from Adobe that includes your account credentials as well as your account URL. You can either click that URL or the Explore Adobe Connect button to log into your Adobe Connect account. After logging in, you may be prompted to accept some terms of service, and then you'll be taken to the web interface for Adobe Connect called Adobe Connect Central. Here's where you can access all of the different meeting rooms, seminar rooms, and virtual classrooms in Adobe Connect. To create those rooms, though, you'll need to belong to the appropriate group. To add yourself to a group or see which groups that you've got access to, click on the Administration tab. This will open up the Account Summary page. And this Account Summary page will show you exactly which licenses you have. I can see here that I've got one virtual classroom license, I've got one meeting host license, and I've got a license for the Webinar 100, 500, and 1000 webinar managers. To add myself to a group so that I can start creating rooms or to add new users, I can click on the Users and Groups link. Here, I can use this page to add individual users by clicking on the New User button or upload a number of different users at the same time by uploading a comma-separated values file that contains the relevant information. Since I only have a few licenses, I'm going to add my new users manually by clicking on Users and Groups and selecting the New User button. Here, I can provide the necessary information. That includes the first name, last name, and email address. This email address will be used for the login for my new user. I'll also provide a temporary password. The two options at the bottom I'm going to leave checked. The first will email the user account information, including the credentials, to the new user I'm setting up. And the second one will ask him to change his password the next time he logs on. With that done, I'll click Next. And I'll add my new user to the appropriate groups. In this case, I'd like to set Conrad up as a virtual classroom manager so we can create virtual classrooms. I'll select the virtual classroom managers group and then click finish. Conrad has now been added to the system as a virtual classroom manager. As an administrator, I'm not able to create my own meeting rooms, so I'm going to add my profile to the meeting hosts group. Once again, I'll click users and groups. I'll search for my profile using the search button and start typing in the first few letters and then select information to see which groups I belong to. I can edit my group membership by clicking on this edit group membership link. I'm already set up as an administrator, but to add a new meeting room, I'm going to add myself to the meeting hosts group by clicking add. If I try to select a group that I don't have licenses for, for example, adding a second virtual classroom manager, even though I've only got one license, I'll receive this error message, operation failed, account limit reached. I've now added myself successfully to the meeting hosts group. So when I go back to the main Adobe Connect Central page, I can not only access the meetings tab, but I've got the quick create new meeting button available to me. I can use that to create my first meeting room and start inviting people to my Adobe Connect room. That's how easy it is to start adding users and groups to your new Adobe Connect account. Thanks for your time.